Howdy, my name is Ann McCarthy. I'm a product wrangler working for Automatic, and this is a video about some of the improvements to the query loop block that helps simplify the experience with smarter defaults and intuitive settings. So to start, there are some really cool updates that basically allow you to no longer need to manually enable the inherit query from template option. So the query loop block now automatically inherits that by default, ensuring that the posts you expect to see are both displayed in the editor and on the front end. And it really simplifies the process for most users who typically just want to see their posts appear without complication. It also minimizes the likelihood of confusion, such as when a query loop block is added but posts don't show up. So now whenever you're adding it, it'll automatically default to using the inherit query and cause your post to display immediately. So let's try this out. So I'm going to add in a query loop block. Let's go through, let's see. I'll choose this one. Boom, you can see it's automatically set to default here. Now from there, you'll notice that this looks a bit different. You'll have this toggle between default and custom. And this is part of it. You no longer need to see that inherit query option. Instead, you get to choose this between this very clear toggle. So default and custom. From there, you'll see another toggle to show post or page. And you'll notice that the settings that used to appear in the block toolbar now appear here, allowing you to customize everything about this directly from the sidebar settings. This was a long standing point of feedback, even when I used to run the FSE outreach program, if anyone remembers that back in the day. Folks wanted to see all their options in one place, and now that is the case. This adds a lot of clarity to the experience, um, both in terms of these different toggles, as well as just having all the settings in one place. So in this case, I can change around, you know, how many posts I want to display, um, to sort by different things. There's other options here, offset max pages to show, which are more advanced settings. So you'll see that they're hidden by default, which makes a lot of sense. Most folks don't need to mess with those. Alongside this, one of the options to reload full page um, was moved under advanced. Um, this is by design as well, because this is a more advanced setting that most folks don't need. Before it was in a more prominent place. So you can see there's just all these little enhancements and refined details in the experience to just streamline it a bit more. There's also a neat new feature where you can filter by formats, um, allowing you to filter by post formats, which is pretty cool. So in this case, I have two uh, posts around images, and I can also remove that. You can also see all the other filtering options for authors, taxonomies, um, all sorts of things. So I can filter by travel um, and change that there and show here. Or I can always just go back and say default and have the options listed. For a full rundown of all the features, um, I want to refer you all to this quarter improvement post that gives you all the highlights expected to come to WordPress 6.7 and all the goodies. But for now, I hope this makes building query loops and displaying your great content so much easier. As one final fun task, let's zoom out and let's shuffle through some of these. Oh, that looks cool. We'll go through. Let's go with the pink. I'm going to double click back in, make it full width, zoom back out, see how it looks. Yeah, I love that. Boom, let's ship it. WordPress 6.7 comes out November 12th, 2024. Enjoy.